Hey everyone, it's Will. Before we get to the scheme tutorial, I just wanted to make a quick video to show you some really cool technology my friend Nada Amin has put together that will let you run all of the examples I showed you last time in the first video, the I Love You video, on your own computer without installing any software. So last time I showed you how to run these scheme expressions, or racket expressions that happen to run a scheme, I was using a program called Vicari Scheme. I ran both these scheme expressions and then these special expressions, this Avalo thing, this relational thing, which runs backwards. Okay, so we ran this relation backwards. And we're able to generate expressions that evaluate to I love you. So if you want to run this code on your own, there's two options. The harder option, but one that gives you a little more flexibility, is to install a scheme system like Vicari Scheme, which is what I'm running, and then go to my GitHub repository for that tutorial, running backwards part one, for example, and there's a link to that, uh, to this repository, with the description of the video and, and the bottom of this video as well. And you can clone this uh, repository and load the code and I've included the transcript file. So transcript.scm has all of the examples that I ran. And here's evalo.scm that has all the code for the evaluator. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Another way you can go about this though is to go to the URL that I'll, I'll have at the, the description for this video and also in the first video where it says the interactive tutorial. And you should really click on that video, or sorry, uh, go to that URL instead of the URL up here, because I might change which server the software is running on. But once you get to this page, what you'll notice is that there are some boxes containing code and that there are triangles below the boxes. If you click on one of the triangles, you'll see the value of the expression above. What's happening is this expression is being sent to the server. Currently the server is in Amsterdam, which is why it might take a second. The expression gets set to the server. The server evaluates that expression using its own local copy of Vicari scheme. And then you get the answer back. Okay. The coolest thing is that this is all interactive. So you can click in the box containing the code and edit the code. So instead of saying, I love you, now we've got, I love lamp. I can click on the triangle again, and sure enough, the output is updated. So here are the examples that I showed from Matt's blog last time. You can run all those or edit any of those. And don't feel like you're going to break anything, because you can also just replace any of these expressions with your own scheme expression. In fact, this will be a good technology for us to learn scheme next time. So here, for example is a little infinite loop in scheme. And when I run it, I get back an error, infinite loop. So there's a timeout. So don't worry about breaking, breaking the system. Okay, so you can run all those examples. And also, I've also made sure to include the code for the relational evaluator. So here's the example I ran in the video, running this avalo expression, uh, the avalo relational interpreter backwards. And that's one answer. Here's the two answers. I can get 99 answers if I want. Here, the formatting is not so great, which is a little annoying. Maybe there's a way to fix that. But in order to make it a little easier to look at those 99 answers, I've actually included them at the bottom of this page. And you can run each of those individually. And this is also a chance to experiment with something I pointed out last time, that these underscore zeros are placeholders, representing any legal possible value that could be there is, is fine. So in this case, I could put a five there, rerun it, should give me back I love lamps still. Yeah. Now here, the underscore zeros are, are in a slightly different position. They're in what's called binding position, or the argument position for a lambda. Um, in this case, I can't just uh, replace them with something like five. I could replace them with an arbitrary identifier name, like 
x, or here's underscore 1, I'll call that y, as long as I replace this with y also, that should be okay. Let me try writing that. Yep, I love lamp. And then this expression, since it's quoted, I can put anything I want in there, and that should still evaluate to I love lamp. So if you really want to get into the game of replacing underscore zeros and underscore ones and that sort of thing, uh, you have to know a little bit about how scheme works to know what's legal and what context. And that's what those side conditions that are generated in the answers tell you is what you can put where, basically. But anyway, now you can play around with all this code on your own without having to install any software. If you want to install Scheme and fork the GitHub repo, I encourage you to do so, but you don't have to. And we'll use this technology for the rest of the tutorials. Another cool thing about this, this technology that Nada has developed, is that it's all open source. And if you go to uh, the main website, io.livecode.ch, um, she gives you instructions on how to set up your own tutorial that's interactive. So if you want to give your own uh, demonstrations or make your own series of tutorials, you can do that, and it doesn't have to be in Scheme. There are lots of languages and technology she supports. And if you go to GitHub, you can see her page that has all this information. And in fact, you can even set up your own server running this code. So uh, she has some descriptions of, of how to do that. So this is all, all new tech, and it's all improving rapidly, but I think it's very cool, and it will make our tutorials a lot easier, and it'll be uh, it'll hopefully encourage you to play around with this technology on your own and lower the barrier to entry. So I hope you will take advantage of this. All right. See you soon with the with our crash course on Scheme. Thanks.